right, we are at, uh, dang it, I don't have the address. Oh, there's Amanda. <laughs> Lancaster. Yeah, something Lancaster. <laughs> and Lancaster, not with a D. I kept spelling it as a Landcaster. <laughs> okay, so here's your living room. It's huge. This is definitely one of the larger homes that we've seen. These oak floors have been stained a really cool blonde natural color. It was originally black. Lots of recessed lighting throughout. He said he redid this kitchen, but these are regular standard cabinets. They just kind of like added some hardware and- You think they just painted over Yeah, I think so. They, they, they refinished it and they did it well. It's yeah. just, it's not new. This is a very unique refrigerator. It's vintage, <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't know. <laughs> Rolling kitchen island in the middle with trash inside of it. This is probably the biggest negative that I notice is um, it's kind of just somewhat of a dangerous area to have your stove. Right, Amanda? Yeah, yeah. what I pointed out was that there was no... Um, like no, wood. yeah, no wood. ventilation, no vent to suck out all, like, if you're going to fry fish or something. <laughs> right. Um, the good thing is there, this is a hinge, so you could lift this up to clean it. Cool. I like that. But either way, kind of a dangerous area to have the stove. Like, hot pots, fire going, the kids are running back and forth through here. I don't know. Just kind of sticks out. This is a cool little drive through window. <laughs> Yes, while you sit in the sunroom, which is really nice. Here's your laundry area right off of the kitchen. Let's go out to the sunroom so you can see it. Sunroom is beautiful. I think this is one of my favorite parts of the house. It was permitted according to the seller, though it was done before he got here. Now we will step outside. Gas fire pit. They hooked up the gas to it. Tough shed right over there. They put in pavers, all this. AstroTurf is properly drained. But you know, backyard's cute. It's just not a whole lot going on. So it's a very super low maintenance backyard. Yeah. For real. So far, we haven't heard the neighbors or anything, so that's good. Birds chirping. Yes. Birds, leaves. And going back inside. I will take you to the bedrooms. This is large enough for your dining table right here too. Into the bedrooms. Sorry, it's a little dark. Storage. More storage. I love the bathroom. I love the clawfoot tub. I kind of like this semi-industrial look. It's really neat. You can also get to this bathroom from the laundry room. In case you're doing laundry and you suddenly need to go to the bathroom. Really cool. These bedrooms are gigantor. Oh good, we have Amanda to show for size. Before we were using Max yes. in my videos. <laughs> I probably make this room look huge. Easily could fit a cow king in here. Oh yeah, cow king, like, dresser, giant nightstand. I love yeah. a little detail on the wall. Too. Yeah. Good closet. But this is what you get when you're out in the suburbs, you know, larger bedrooms. Burbs. Larger sized homes. This is kind of interesting that there's a door over here to the side yard. Probably not good when you have a teenager in the future because they could just sneak out. But I like, you know, their little touches here and there. Kind of, kind of cool. Over here is another bedroom. Standard closet. Love that they redid all the windows here though. That helps a lot. Bathroom has been redone, but you still only get one sink. This is kind of a cool little medicine cabinet thingamajiggy. He did this himself. He's a very handy dude, apparently. And there, you can bathe beneath the waterfall. And 
poo. <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, here, I'll show you the front yard. Front yard, I'd say, is nicer than the backyard because there's a giant tree. The garage is detached, but there is no direct entry. Or not detached, I'm sorry, attached, but no direct entry into the garage. More artificial turf, another fire pit with gas direct line into it. And that is it. Okay, bye.